So the Scotch TL901 Laminator. This is a laminator that's available very cheaply on Amazon. I saw it on sale once for um, $16.99. I paid a bit more than that for mine. But my hopes were to use this for a PCB toner transfer. So I got it and I had to make one minor modification to get the temperature up a little higher. So I thought I would share with you um, how I did that. So the first step you're going to have to do, flip the unit over, take out all the screws. There's six. One under the QC, one in each corner, one here. So six total, three on each side. Once you've taken all those screws out, two pieces will separate. And you can just kind of flop the gray side over. Now, if you look down here, I've got pictures on the website, so um, check there for detailed instructions, but there's a little thermistor. A little thermistor checks the temperature of the roller. So the wires that come off that thermistor come over here. They're the two black wires. So these two black wires here in this bundle of mess, the two black wires are coming from your thermistor. What you have to do is cut one of them. And here's what I did is just a temporary solution. Ideally what I want to do is put a switch on the front panel of the gray part, but I'm still waiting on a switch. Cut one of the black wires and put a 1.2K resistor in line with it. Now, I just stripped the wire and wrapped it around just quick as a test, and it does work. It raises the temperature to right around 148 to 150 Celsius, which is right in the ideal range for toner transfer. And you can take that resistor back out, connect the two wires back together, and resume normal use of your laminator. Now, one important thing to check is the thermal fuse cutoff. Now, this one specifically, I checked and it was high enough. Uh, it was, I believe, 188 Celsius or something like that. But check yours before you do this because you could potentially burn out that thermal fuse if it were to, or if the thing were to start overheating. So make sure that your thermal fuse is rated for over 150 Celsius. Um, this one was fine in mine. I don't know if it's different for each unit or how they manufacture these. I only have one um, unit, obviously, to use as an example. But once you put that resistor in, I hooked in a couple extra little jumper wires into that those two black ones so that I could monitor the temperature with my multimeter um, with the lid on. And again, information on the values I found for what um, what was what, what temperature related to what voltage is all on the website and a link to that post is in the description. So go there for all the detailed information, but essentially this is all you'll need to do to get this laminator ready to transfer toner onto your PCBs. So thanks for watching.